Welcome. Today we're going to review the latest generation of Audi's MMI touch system. For example, we're using an Audi Q5, which is equipped with navigation, so it does get an upgraded screens. You have a 8.3 inch main screen and a 12.3 inch full color LCD screen for virtual cockpit. Center is loaded with controls for MMI system. That includes a large touchpad with recognition of your finger movement and some shortcuts as well as the main dial and click for uh, controls of the functions. So let's go to the main screen by clicking menu. It takes you to the main page. From here we can go to the very top and find vehicle settings. Enter the select. Right now we're in interior lighting settings but Let's go back and see what we can start with. The top, there's Audi Drive Select. Here you can customize your driving. Whether you feel like you need a little more comfort or you're looking for more dynamic performance, you can set it up here. Auto is the most balanced between performance and comfort. There's also an individual mode which you can customize and personalize for yourself. Back. Now let's go and take a look at other vehicle settings right over here. You can program steering wheel button for any of the functions. If this was my car I would probably program it to drive select mode. You can also switch maps from day to night, repeat traffic messages and switch radio to media. Seat settings. Here you can adjust driver's seat and store it in the uh, number one key and add a passenger and store it to the number two key. So each key user would have their own settings in the vehicle. Exterior lighting, interior lighting, central locking system. There's no need to go in depth here. All you need to do is to go in and plug and play, see what's, what the system does and offers. Go back, driver assistance technologies. Now this vehicle is equipped with Audi PreSense City. What it does, it prevents the car from driving into the traffic at the speed at the city speeds within 52 miles an hour. Here you can adjust the sensitivity of the system, how early or how late it will interfere into your driving. Because if you're not going to apply brakes, the car will eventually apply brakes to reduce the impact, uh, strength of an impact, or actually prevent you from crashing completely. Here we can also customize the brightness of the uh, side assist lights and turn off rain sensing wipers. So a lot of car settings could be done from the top vehicle menu. Now sound settings. Here you can control en entertainment sound, telephone, navigation, reminder device and speech dialogue system. Now let's go back to the radio. From here if you click right option you can do sound settings, you can pre create presets and do a couple more things. If you do left option, you can always go into AM or XM. On top of the touch mat pad, there are eight presets for the radio. I love how Audi does this now. In order to see where your finger is at, you don't need to look down, you need to look at the screen. That minimizes distraction while driving. Go back to main menu and see what media offers. There's nothing plugged, but we can still see what's available. DVD, CD, SD cards, USB plugs, auxiliary source of music, Bluetooth streaming or Wi-Fi streaming. Previous screen, telephone through Bluetooth, navigation. Now, there are a couple of ways to put input navigation. You can activate it by voice and speak complete address, it will start guidance, or you can use this recognition pad to write the address. Navigate on it and start writing. For example, let's go to Starbucks. Five. No. Delete. S. T. A R B There's one 1.4 miles away. The route is being calculated. 
Now the route is calculated. In order to cancel the raw guidance, there's a couple of ways to do that. You click right option and select cancel raw guidance. Select cancel raw guidance. Or you can take the whole unit, pull it down. I'm sorry, pull it up. Then you can delete destination from here. And go back. Now you can put up the map if you just want to see the map. You can do the zoom and out in and out with the mail knob. Right now we have satellite view and it's free for six months through Audi Connect services. Left option, jump into destination input. You scroll down, it will give you last destinations. Very easy stuff. Practice it. The system is very intuitive. You should be able to pick it up quickly. Audi Connect. These are online services that Audi gives you for six months free of charge. Here you can get online services, check fuel prices, stocks, read some news, find out what's going on in the city. You can also activate your key user feature over here, which will allow you to unlock and lock the vehicle from your phone and do a lot of other um, customizations. Audi smartphone interface further down. Audi supports um, iPhones and Android uh, Android devices. For Android, you need to download Android Auto app. For Apple products, you just plug it in. The rest of the settings of the vehicle are here, but this is slightly different. These are measuring units, date and time, display brightness, more of a tech settings here. And you can go to Connection Manager and manually rearrange your phones and maybe uh, play around with settings for Audi smartphone. Now there are shortcuts that allow you to jump into all these menus by clicking these buttons here. And when you have the light on, that means you are in the map or you want to navigation. If you want to jump into radio, there's another one right over here. If you press this round button, it will mute the stereo. If you press and hold this button, it will shut off the stereo completely. To turn it back on, we need to press this button. We can also go to the next track, or next station, previous track, previous station. I hope this brief explanation was helpful and will start you off with your new MMI system. Thank you.